Hi everyone, welcome to the MD Trash tutorial list. Today we will continue learning how to perform the analysis of MD trajectories with MD Trash. In the previous video, we performed the RMSD analysis, and this time we will learn how to compute the RMSF analysis, which is the average of fluctuations of your structure. If you want to know more about the difference between RMSD and RMSF, you can either read or we already have a video in the channel when we will we were teaching it with VMD. So in summary, RMSF it's a measure of fluctuations of your of your backbone of your structure over time. So it can give you an indication about the flexibility of your system, because unlike RMSD RMSF, is the deviation over uh, over time. So you can get particle specific uh, values of your of your fluctuations, unlike the RMSD which was over time. So. Uh, Last time, performing RMSD was very simple. If you remember that code, we just loaded the structures and get some selections to extract our protein. And then in a single line, we performed the RMSD. So I will just copy this. And then I will just change the name of the variable instead of RMSD to RMSF, of course. And in, instead of using the function md.rmsd, we will use md.rmsf. So just a single letter, and then it will compute it. And as we learned last time, we have three things here in this in this function. The first is the target I'm analyzing, the, the trajectory I'm analyzing, and uh, the reference. And the number here refers to the frame I'm aligning, or I'm, or the the, the frame that, that I'm using. I'm reference from my reference and trajectory so here we are using the first frame which is corresponding to zero okay let's run it and let's ask MD Trash. so what is RMSF now show me the values okay so here you have the values of, of your uh, of your RMSF and then we will plot it as we plotted the RMSD last time I will just copy this so it's almost the same and in a state of instead of RMSD, I will make it RMSF, of course. I will delete this because we are not plotting over time and see what will happen. Okay, so this is kind of fluctuations in nanometers over the, uh, the particles in your system. But you see, this is not kind of very informative because there are too much data here, like 5,000 8888 something because here MD Trash computed the fluctuations per atom but in real time or in real study you would be interested more in the backbone of your protein for example the C alpha atoms that would be very informative so to decrease the noise in, the, in, in this data we will compute it again only for the C alpha atoms of my protein to be more informative so to do that here is one way to do it. I will just create a new selection instead of my protein. You remember here we had a protein selection from our topology because it continue it contained a solvent and protein. So last time we extracted the uh, the protein, but this time I want to extract only protein and C alpha atoms. Name C alpha. We had a nice video. I think video number three of this series with which we are teaching you the atom selection language language in MD Trash. So I will choose protein and name C alpha, okay? And then I will call this protein select two. And then I will slice my trajectory corresponding also to my protein select two, which is protein and name C alpha, okay? Great. Then we will compute it again. I will just copy and paste. And of course, I need to change this into two and this into two, and then we'll compute it. Oh yeah. Yeah, we had also to, to rename this into two, sorry for that. So now, now we are fine. And then let's see if the numbers will change or not. Of course it will. Yeah, you see? So it's limited to 388 atoms this is the backbone of my protein instead of having it to like almost 6,000 atoms so 
I will plot it again to see the difference. Yeah. So now you you can you can go over per amino acid, not instead of going per atom. You may be interested in going over atoms, but I don't think it's you need to zoom into that level. But I don't know. In my in my experience, what you need is just residues. So here you have that domain, which is fluctuating too much, like ten angstrom or one nanometer. And here's parts, and here's part that's kind of rigid, not flexible. So you can get some information from this analysis, of course. So that's cool. We learned how to do RMST and how, how to do RMSF, which is the difference is just a single letter, the D and F. That's it. And see you in more advanced stuff and be safe.